Today I'm going to talk about light and how far it can penetrate into the skin. If we consider that there are some targets in the skin that we might want to tackle with uh, light energy, um, we can look at, for example, solar lenticles, which are very superficial. They're usually in the basal layer of the epidermal dermal junction. Uh, then you have the spider nevi blood vessels, which are in the upper part of the papillary dermis, uh, telangiectasias, which uh, form thread veins, which are a little bit deeper, a little bit bigger. Uh, then you might have um, hair follicles with um, uh, melanin all around them and inside, uh, leg veins, which are deeper and larger again, and then maybe something like a, a Becker's nevi, um, which can be quite a, a large mass of, uh, of melanin, which can extend uh, deep into the dermis in some cases. This blue line shows the light penetration curve in the skin. And as you can see, it varies quite uh, significantly uh, according to wavelength. Blue light doesn't penetrate too far into the skin, maybe only to about uh, 0.2 millimeters. Green light may go down to around about 0.6 millimeters. Yellow, a little bit further, maybe a couple of millimeters by this point. But uh, red and near infrared light can penetrate the furthest into the skin. So we can see here that uh, the blue light can only really uh, target uh, very superficial uh, targets which may be in the epidermis or in the basal layer. Anything that gets deeper than that will not really have an awful lot of energy. Green light uh, can penetrate a little bit further so it can be used for some uh, epidermal pigmented lesions and also for uh, some uh, spider nevi type vessels uh, because it's uh, green green is fairly well absorbed in uh, in hemoglobin in the blood yellow light can penetrate even further and is strongly absorbed by uh, oxy and deoxyhemoglobin so this uh, this wavelength is used um, a lot these days for the treatment of um, all sorts of blood vessels including telangiectasia and uh, and some some port wine stains Red light has the deepest penetration in the visible spectrum and this is used to treat uh, deep uh, targets like hair follicles and uh, the deeper blood vessels. It is important to understand how the light penetrates into the skin. If you have a good grasp of this then you will choose the correct wavelengths uh, depending on where your targets are and also on how strongly those targets can absorb those wavelengths. There's no point using, for example, green light to target uh, deep blood vessels because they just simply can't get down there. Hopefully this makes, uh, makes a bit more sense. Uh, you can find more um, material on our blog or at our, uh, our YouTube channel uh, at Laser IPL Guys. Uh, thanks for listening.